aging face that this world has forgotten. Hmm, what is up you guys, and of course, welcome back to another episode of Who Was Really Better? And on today's episode, we are going to talk about two of the Pokemons that I've actually actively avoided um, actually getting to know, or anything like that, Blaziken versus Infernape. Now, here's the reason for it, and this is a small disclaimer in my personal opinion. I never liked these Pokemons whatsoever, and it hasn't anything to do with that they're good or bad, rather that they was so good that I was just was it going on a bandwagon, you know, these were clearly the best types introduced in this individual generation because they're starter Pokemon, and the game goes so easy with these in mind, so out of just being a rebel, I guess, I decided not to learn anything about these Pokemon. So I must say now, before even starting comparing these two, these two Pokemon are amazing. They are so well-rounded in both, of course, the tiers themselves, and of course in Leaf format, and this is a very, very hard episode for me of making because they're both excellent. So with that said, we are going to, of course, learn which one today is really better. So starting off, what I do believe is the simplest thing taking it out of the way is, of course, the fighting fire combination. What is strong to? What is weak to? Well, uh, it's resisting, of course, strongly bug. It resists, of course, dark fire, grass, ice, and steel, making it really, really good defensively. Though the weaknesses are very, very glaring, with of course four rather, of course, common weaknesses being, of course, in flying, ground, psychic, and water. It should be said these stabs, finding, and fire are really, really good offensively. So much so that it's not even actually fun to be joking about. The only thing that are necessarily wall these are war type, with of course a certain combination, and that's a secondary. Uh, being of course either flying and poison being of course able to wall this offensive or a combination of stabs same thing goes with dragons with of course a flying or uh, psychic in mind if they lack that it's very possible that these can break any team there are superb wall breakers by default of course this is why we go over their stats so starting off with the simplest thing here there are pretty much the same amount of bulk between these two pokemon Blaziken has 18 HP and split, of course, in 17 his defenses, while Infernape has 76 in HP and 71 in his defenses. But as a whole, it's pretty much the same. Trust me, there is really not a lot of things going on that separates them apart. What does separate them apart is the offensive stat versus the speed tier. Um, Blaziken here is 100 in attack, 110 in special attack, versus, of course, a very, very rather slow speed tier of 80. Comparing that to, of course, Infernape's here with, of course, 104 in split offensive versus 108 in its speed tier, being extremely NASCAR in its speed tier. So it's very easy to see that Blaziken offensively by stats alone are a lot, lot scarier than, of course, Infernape, but Infernape does have a really, really relevant speed tier, making them do different tasks, even though they have the same kind of defining stab matchup in general. And now, of course, with that said, we're going to go over the last thing, being, of course, their abilities. Now, they both have Blaze. It's very self-explanatory. For those who need a small explanation of that, it basically means that once your HP is below 25%, you will get a 33% boost in your Fire Stab. Doesn't solve a lot of things. These two both have extremely good hidden abilities when making them a lot more relevant towards, of course, what they're able to do. Starting off with, of course, Infernape have an Iron Fist. Iron Fist boosts every kind of punch by 20%, and of course this Pokemon has a lot of punches going on, so it's a definitely strong ability towards it, and actually boosting is rather not that shameful attacks that to peaking a bit more when of course a 20% boost in most of its moves. Blaziken on the other hand got Speed Boost. Now, Speed Boost is not the best ability overall ever introduced, but with Blaze again in mind and those stats in mind, that of course is offensive stat being extremely dangerous, Speed Boost solves Blaze again's only real issue, and that being of course that things are able to outspeed it. With Speed Boost, that is not necessarily an issue anymore, and this is of course the only reason it's Uber in the first place because of that capability of of course these extremely dangerous stabs in combination. So it is of course up to me whether or not that ability alone makes Blaze again so much better than Infernet that it should win. And there is why we have the move pool spot because there are things here separate them apart even though it should be said they have a lot of moves in common. When it comes to, of course, relevant move pool that they do share between one another, this likes, of course, a Fire Blast, Flamethrower, Focus Blast, and then, of course, on the physical side, we have the likes, of course, Poison Jab, Earthquake, Flare Blitz, 
And then it starts to differentiate quite a bit, though it should be noted that both get the same type of supporting setup moving towards bulk up and sword stance, and when it comes to refining stab and maximizing damage output, Infernape does get close combat while actually blaze against high jump kick, but it does have the same type of damage output, though high jump kick clearly has a chance of missing. Another, in, of course, interesting move that it does share is, of course, Vacuum Wave, but it is in introduced in Generation 4, making it kind of niche to be used. You can't learn it naturally whatsoever, and of course, you can't have their hidden abilities with, of course, this move in mind. But it's a very, very interesting move because it just kind of broadens their flexibility in any kind of matchup, and definitely in, of course, league formats. And of course, last but not least, of course, to get the copy paste Stone Edge that has to be in every freaking fire type I know about. It's not surprised there, though. With that said, we're gonna of course focus on what sets them apart. Now we're gonna talk about of course Blaziken first because Blaziken actually has a very very interesting move pool. Considered is it really talked about due to the Uber's tiers in mind? It's very focused on what it can do or what it's capable of. But it has a really, really broad move pool, which are worth mentioning. It learns, for example, Brave Bird, and it has, of course, a passive move, such as, of course, Baton Pass, which is a very, very good move, considering, of course, you can pass your stats, such as, of course, Speed Boost in mind, and, of course, the Sword Dance and the Bulk Up. It's definitely up there. It does get Curse if you want to utilize that. It gets Feather Dance, and it does get a Knockoff, which is something that, of course, Infirmary do not get. So, Blaziken definitely has a lot of niche moves going on. And as stated, of course, in the league format, having the likes of actions, of course, the Baton Pass is a very, very good defensive capability to move to actually be able to not have, of course, any physical contacts as you switch out. And of course, it's a great force switch, and it's definitely worth mentioning for that very reason alone. Now, with that said, enter, of course, Infernape. Now, Infernape's move pool is on the same level, in my honest opinion, like Nido Queen, and of course, Nido King. Um, which would mean that it's extremely broad and there's a lot of things going on and I really really can't set it apart. Now, first of all, I have to of course mention of course the elephant is in the room, which is of course that of course while it of course physically can boost himself, Infernape has also been able to of course being able to go for Calm Mind or Nasty Plot, actually emphasizing on his special attack over of course his physical attack. While his physical move pool is a lot more reliable, it having a special side, yet yeah, that's kinda scary to be able to be dealing with. And it doesn't help, of course, that it does get Grass Knot, which is something that Blazing and actually severely is missing. Grass Knot is a very, very good move for, of course, those defensive ground types. So having, of course, accessibility like that, yeah, that's pretty darn great. And, of course, it has Slack Cups. It has a recovery even though to it. It is not bulky to pull it off, but if it's forced to, it's probably is able to, right? And, of course, when it comes to its physical move pool, it is, com becomes a lot more interesting. Because it does get, of course, Fake Out. It does get Mag Punch, have another priority outside of Vacuum Wave, which also is boosted but of course, the Iron Fist. And talking about Iron Fist, it does get Thunder Punch, making, of course, it even more interesting. And outside, of course, the Poison Jab I mentioned further, it does get access to the lies of Gunk Shot. And, of course, U-Turn. It does have a Pivot outside of Battle Pass. While it's offensive Pivot, it might be just as interesting and definitely helping it out even further. And, of course, one of the best things this thing gets stealth rocks it has also a supportive offensive capability of setting up rocks so infernape definitely is pushing to boundaries of of course what a fighting type or soul fire type really really can be offensively with of course those strong supporting move it's move pool super super strong it has a very, very strong game going on infernape definitely is a Analysis, view, and pleasure, really. It does really, really force the boundary of how this offensive Pokemon can be in mind. Though, with that said, is it enough to beat, of course, a Blazik in speed boost? Because this is pretty much what is all going on. Infernape's move pool is clearly better than, of course, Blazik in, but Blazik in solves it worse with issue being, of course, its speed. And yeah, I really, really was thinking about this long and hard. I mean, I had a different viewing point when I started this, and of course, now that I decided to end it. No, speed boost is not enough to make Blaziken better over Infernape. Trust me, Infernape is a superb Pokemon, and it has very few Pokemon that can rival it. And look, I get it, I get why Blaziken is uber. The offensive fighting fire, it is enough to usually solve any kind of matchup, and the few that walls it are weak to either Earthquake, Stone Edge, or of course Knockoff. Blaziken solves a lot, it's a reason it's uber, it's very easy to set up, it can rip apart teams, yes, but Infernape is outside of those capabilities, it is unpredictable, it has an already relevant speed tier, turn 1, 
and with of course being able to of course set up offensively or defensively or set up rocks and pivot there are just so many things going on with Infernape which making it just a superb Pokemon overall there are just so many things that this Pokemon can do while Blaziken offensively is the scariest Pokemon between these two Infernape is just that much better at everything else so alright you know I'll, I'll be in a serious talk now because I know, I know stating this is clearly you know it's not for everybody i know that anuber is uber for a reason towards of course a huge pokemon i get it please again is definitely the same more dangerous pokemon between these two and going into this episode i had in mind that blaziken is gonna win there is really no outcome where infernum can win this then i really just looked at the mood pool and like there is some shit going on with Infernape <laughs> that just isn't appreciated more i believe it's very easy to see why why Blaziken became legendary. I mean, it felt like, of course, that Game Freak tried to solve Blaziken's issues by giving it speed boost, but that only made it more... It, it basically become more legendary than the legendaries themselves, because it got outright broken, it was very, very hard to stop, and it still is to this day, was showing, of course, how much an ability can change the outcome of Pokemon itself. Now, that said, Infernip, it just pushes those boundaries. There is a lot of other things going on. Infernip is incredibly flexible, and uh, I had no idea going into this that it could do this. And I, I really, really, really like it now. I'm, I kind of feel I should use it more often or use it at all because I definitely haven't. <laughs> But yeah, with that said, guys, what do you guys think? I mean, it's very easy to say, of course, Blazing is better. I get that. But if you look into the overarching concept, is there somewhere down there that you guys see that, yeah, Infernape could do well? It could definitely do better. Uh, make sure, of course, to write down whatever you guys think down below. And with that said, we are going to have a very, very interesting episode next time where we're going to look upon, of course, these guys.